Here's one of the most underrated champions in my opinion. Jace has only one big problem, and that is his lack of proper mobility. Yorick, who can easily trap him and hit him with skill shots, can wreck him. Xin Zhao, if he's smart enough to use his E after being pushed back, is another very good counter. Fiora, if she's able to engage after Jace misses an EQ, will completely destroy him as well. Pantheon will win the early game if he knows how to play aggressive. Wukong can poke him down with a few WEQ combos before engaging to Elite, and Vladimir, because of his pool to dodge Qs, and also for his heavy sustain, make other viable counters. Jace's pass of grants him ghost and movement speed for a brief period of time whenever he switches stances. So let's start with his ultimate, which will explain the rest of his kit. It basically allows him to change between two stances, which makes his abilities change. So in essence, you have a champion with six abilities instead of four, even though he has no real ultimate. His Q and hammer stance, or melee stance, allows him to dash to enemies, strike them with his hammer, and also slow them. If he's in the range stance, then it'll fire an orb that deals damage instead. His W and melee stance passively makes him gain mana every time he auto attacks, and when activated, will create an area around him that deals magic damage per second. In the range stance, it will grant him extra attack speed and also serves as an auto reset. Finally, his E will knock enemies back as melee form and will create an acceleration gate that grants him movement speed in his ranged form. It also speeds up and enhances the Q damage if it passes through it. In lane, be careful about not getting hit by his EQ combo in his ranged form. It will always deal more damage than you expect. To engage you, he'll change to his melee form, so that's a huge tell for him. As for spells, I've only really seen Jace's take teleport, and to be honest, I always recommend taking teleport versus teleport. Otherwise, you'll get into lane with a huge game disadvantage. In terms of power spikes, it's actually pretty simple. The first three levels of the game are insane for him because he gets access to all of his abilities already. His level 4 when he puts another point into Q is also a great poking ability. As for items, he'll obviously go for the tier so that he can use abilities without caring about his mana. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, dodge his Q to deny him his trading potential in lane. If you can bring some sort of sustain to lane, he'll have little ways of dealing with you and it takes 6 seconds for him to change back stances. So make use of this to go ham if he changes them stupidly. Ultimately, have fun doing it.